What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and today we're going to continue with the automation video, so uh, let's get right into it. First up, we got to do to see our automation is hit A on our keyboard. So right here on this region, I applied multiple uh, automation zones to it, one of which is my plugin, the high cut frequency. I, uh, I applied some automation to that, applied some automation to my volume as usual, and applied some automation to my pan. Now, as you can see, what I was doing right there is on this region, I actually have multiple automations. So if you want to flip and edit each one, just click this bar right here and you will see the uh, setting that you actually change. So if I want my volume automation, I click volume. If I want the setting that I changed in my plugin, which is the high cut frequency plugin, there it is right there. That's my automation if I want to edit it. So if you're ever working with multiple automation zones, that's where you go ahead and edit it. So let's say we want to go ahead and see this in succession. So we want to see all the automations all at once and we can go ahead and edit accordingly. Because let's say the pan has to be in line with our volume and our volume has to be in line with our frequency and all that kind of stuff. Basically what you got to do is go to your bottom left hand corner right here. It's that little arrow button. Click it. And when you click it, it will expand and show you the other automation zones that you may have. So in this case, I only have three, my high cut, my volume, and my pan. So there I could go ahead and maneuver it to all kind of line up if I need everything to be lined up together nicely. Now let's go ahead and show you how to embed this automation into the region like the other tutorials I showed you, just so you could go ahead and loop it because it is a little different. I'm going to select my region, go to track, track automation, and go to move all track automation to region. Click that. Now your track has recorded all that information right into it. Now, after we applied that, there is one thing that I got to point out, and I don't know if it's specifically with my Logic Pro version or if it got fixed in the latest re revision, which is 9.1.6, I believe. When you hit A on your keyboard and go look at all your different automation zones, you are kind of, well, you're not going to see it visually, and it kind of shows you the starting point and the end point of the automation, which I don't particularly like, but if I go ahead and hit play, it will play out my automation anyways. So it's not really a big deal. So if we want to go ahead and edit it, all we have to do is click our region, go to track, track automation, and go move all region data to track automation. And then this will come up again. You'll bring it back. Go ahead, do your changes, and then go back to your region, go to track, track automation, move all track automation to region, and then you go back to this and then that's how you go ahead and edit your automation. If that is a little workaround that I've been doing recently. Well, not recently, but been doing working around with it because it is a little quirk that I hope Logic kind of fixes in their recent update, which I didn't update yet. So if you have, let me know. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. That's how you work with multiple automation zones and how you embed them into your region. And now you can go ahead and copy your tracks as usual and never have to worry about losing your automation data. So with that said, I'm Adam from My Music Mogul. Remember to rate and subscribe for more great videos. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.